Let's talk about the recent information regarding the performance about the upcoming Galaxy S9. There have been a few performance tests using the Geekbench application. As you know, this application will give us an idea of how the device performs. The good thing about this application is that it is available for Android and Apple devices. So I was able to compare the S9 results to the iPhone X, also the older S8, and Galaxy Note 8. Ok, first let's take a look at the device's specification. The screen on the new Galaxy S9 has the same specification as the current Galaxy S8, it has the same resolution, pixel density, size and aspect ratio. There are two variants of the processor. Most likely for the United States and China will be the Snapdragon 845, the rest of the world get the Samsung Exynos processor. Both processors are octa-cores and the frequencies on them are similar. The RAM on the Galaxy S9 is expected to be only 4 gigas, and the Galaxy S9 Plus will have extra 2 gigas of RAM for a total of 6 gigas. Remember that according the leaks, the Plus version has two cameras, and the smaller S9 has only one camera. It is possible that the extra RAM is needed for the dual camera, just like the iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone X. Ok, after this introduction let's see the Geekbench processor scores. Here they are. Here we are looking at the Exynos version of the handsets. This in particular is the smaller S9. You can see that it confirms the 4 gigas of RAM. It is a very good score. Now let's look at the Snapdragon version. This test in particular was done with a Galaxy S9 Plus, and it confirms the 6 gigas of RAM. The screenshot shows around 5 gigas only, but the rest of the RAM may be reserved for graphics. Now let's look how the S9 and S9 Plus compare against the current flagships. You can expect this S9 devices to perform better than the current Galaxy S8. The Apple 11 Bionic still is untouchable. The latest Snapdragons and Exynos processors are not in the same league as the Apple processor. I mean, guys, those scores on the Apple are compared to modern laptops with an i7 processor. It is amazing. Talking about the iPhone, where it fails, in my opinion, is in the RAM department. 3 gigas is too low, I have seen it closing, and reloading applications while multitasking. For $1000 it should have, at the very least 4 gigas. Processor performance is not all, I still prefer Android over iOS, and Windows over Mac OS, because Android and Windows are more flexible in my opinion. Mark your calendars. Expect the new S9 and S9 to be announced in February 25th at the press launch, or the 26th when the Mobile World Congress starts. That will be in Barcelona, Spain. Anyway I hope you have enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, 